You're right, Ken. I can't create anything equal to yours. For me to do so would require me to forget every damn thing I know. Now, this is the last time you're going to get any kind of attention from me directly, Ken. Period. Because you're no longer worth my time. You haven't been for a long time. But I'm going to correct some of your bullshit. And I'm going to leave you with some things to ponder. Do you remember this picture, Ken? I assume you do. You stated that the wall was curved. It's not. You stated that I didn't know what the hell I was talking about, that I didn't know a gym from a church. Well, take a look at this. What does that say to you? Exact same room. How big of an idiot do you look like now? But that's commonplace. And here's the thing, Ken. I've had those pictures for years. I just didn't feel the need to come out and always argue back and forth. That's a you thing. Once again, I've mentioned you like twice in two months. You've mentioned Partey every day. Every day. And here's the question for those who are watching this video. Here's the question that you have to ask yourself. Okay, here it comes. If I am such a fraud, as you say, and you sell so much product, as you say, why would you need to talk about me so much? What is it about me that you're so obsessed with? Why do you need to talk about Partey? Why do you need to say Sirius C is trash in every video that you put out? See, it seems more likely, Ken, that you're terrified of me. And I think people get that. You're terrified of me. And you're pissed because you aren't selling anymore because people are coming to Partey. That's a fact. Let's start with the fact that you admitted defeat. Remember in your I'm done streaming on YouTube video? All you did was whine and cry about people in YouTube land. YouTube's the problem. No, YouTube's not the problem, Ken. You're the problem. You've always been the problem. But I knew you were lying whenever you said you were done with the streaming. I knew you'd be back within a day or two. You can't stay away. You're addicted. But you're still not selling. Were you having panic attacks? Did you lose your emotional support animal, Mr. Pitbull? I mean, obviously something happened because you had to come back and make a four-hour-long J Karen video where you're just whining and crying and going off again. Look at that. You can't make that, Ken. You've never been able to make that. <laughs> See, here's what I know about you, Ken. You're a skank. You're a scrub. You're a liar. Okay? And that's just to start. I mean, here's a guy, you, living in a damn shed, a dirty shed at that, with a piss bucket in the corner, and you're telling me that you're going to crush me and take me down. Yet, we've heard that for year after year after year. And where's the takedown, Ken? Where's the crushing Where's anybody been crushed? No one's been crushed, Ken. But you. See, it kind of reminds me of my favorite scene out of the color purple whenever Shug Avery is coming back towards the church and they're singing, God's trying to tell you something. He's been trying to tell you something. You've lost two houses, an apartment, and now you're living in a shed with a piss bucket in the corner. What comes next is not going to be any better. Certainly, you realize that, but people like you, Ken, see, because I know you're not a Christian, Ken. You hate Christians. You mock Christians. You think they're idiots. And so you use that to try to manipulate, to tug at that heartstring with your little perverted Sunday school stories. Because they're always inaccurate. But nothing in your behavior pattern has ever reflected you being a follower of Christ. Not at all. You got a very violent nature, but it's a faux violent nature. See, you're one of those guys that us us guys... See, Mr. Bird, I'll share a secret with you. I've been shot once, stabbed twice in my history. I've been through hard times. I've been down the hard road. I've told you from the beginning I can see a sissy 
right off the bat. And you are a sissy. You're just a loudmouth sissy who has tried to intimidate people. And you run up against somebody you couldn't intimidate. You run up against somebody you could not take down. And it pissed you off. And you're eternally pissed. You will die a pissed off old man that no fucking body cares about. That's your end. Now that's your garbage we're looking at now. And I'm just going to cover a couple of other items. Because I could. I, there's a lot of things I could show you. I could show you rear projection. I'm not going to give you the time of day, Ken. I'll show it for everybody else later. But I'm not going to give you the time of day. But that's your bullshit we're looking at now. Beautiful. Um, but you remove South Carolina first, Ken. You forget to tell people that. Love how you just love to leave things out. But you took South Carolina out first and made me have to go through somebody else to get your product here. And I use product loosely. You use product, quote-unquote, and technology, quote-unquote, a lot. And you, what you sell out there is neither. But I'm just extending you the same courtesy, Ken. You said you had 60 people ready to buy, but that was just another lie.